and much more to come. I've got a whole bag of catnip seeds. Probably grow 50,000 plants with what's in there. The seeds are so small, they're just like a dot. When you type in dot com, that's how small the dot is. The little black seed. Yep, that's my new catnip crop growing already, just starting. Ha <laughs> ha, look at all those fields. Well, I can't grow catnip in the middle of them because I've got a farmer renting them, but I can sure grow it along the edges like I did last year. There's a lot of edges on both fields. So we're going to have a lot of catnip this year because I put an ad on for a YouTube video to sell catnip and it went crazy. I had to take the video off within a few hours. I was sold out of catnip. David's farm is an official farm now. I made over $400 gross income. I had some expenses like shipping and packaging. I showed it all on my income tax, so now I'm legally a farmer. Sweet. And because my global sales of catnip was so overwhelming, I couldn't meet up with the demand. So I'm expanding operations this year. I'm going to grow as much as possible and make thousands of dollars off of catnip. Chronic catnip. David's farm. Yes, buy it. So I'm going to need a much larger drying room. Well, since I only made $400 gross this year, I was able to afford to upgrade. Now I have the bus for a drying room for a farming purpose, and now I have a 53-foot trailer that I bought for only $100, a 1996, that's no longer really fit for the road. Drying catnip has got to be like the smelliest plant out there. I do not want it polluting my drive shed. So this is my new redneck barn for David's Farm Farming Operation. Look at all that space and a lighted ceiling so it's warmer in there and helps dry it quicker. Man, if I had 200 pounds of bud last year, this year I can put thousands of pounds of bud in here this year. Sweet. Well, look at that. I even got some of that chronic David's Farm catnip growing right beside the trailer. Just can't wait to get inside. Sweet. I may have so much nip that this year I'll be selling it to pet food stores. Maybe next, well, any kind of pet store. Maybe next year, maybe even on the Home Shopping Channel. There's no bud in the land more potent than mine. Mine is pure. I don't grind up any stems with it or cut it like that store-bought stuff. The store-bought stuff, you can hardly smell it. My stuff, you can smell it right through the package, and the cats certainly can. They'll find your mail before you do. So just remember, September 2010, I am going to be just loaded and ready to sell for my world market. So please buy.